Good morning children. Now we know how to solve a linear equation with variable on both sides. So let us see more examples. Here we have an equation with one variable. 2y by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7y by 15 plus 3. Or we can also say as 2 by 3y plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15 y plus 3 it is the same thing so this has variable on both the sides on the LHS we have 2 by 3 y and on the RHS we have 7 by 15 y let us solve it so 2 y by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by by 15 plus 3 Firstly, we multiply both the sides by 15. Now you might ask, why multiply by 15? If you see the variables on both the sides, what can you say? The LCM of denominators on both sides is 15. So let's multiply by 15 so that we get integer value of the coefficient of y instead of fractional value so let's multiply by 15 15 multiplied by 2 by 3 y plus 1 on the RHS 15 multiplied by 7 by 15 y plus 3 what do we get here we get multiplying 15 by 2 y we get 30 y numerator is 30 y and denominator is 3 plus we multiply 15 by 1 which is 15 so plus 15 on the RHS 15 and 15 gets cancelled when we multiply 15 by 7 by 15 y so here we get 7 y and what is 15 multiplied by 3 it is equal to 45 so this equation gets reduced to 30 by 3y plus 15 is equal to 7y plus 45. We can simplify this further. 10 times 3 is 30. So we get 10y plus 15 is equal to 7y plus 45. Solving it further, now what can we do? We wish to solve this equation to get the value of y. So what we can do? We will subtract 7y from both the sides. Why? We do this so that the variable y is left only on one side of the equation, not on both sides. So let us do this. 10y plus 15 minus 7y is equal to 7y plus 45 minus 7y. Solving it further, what do we get? 10y minus 7y is equal to 3y plus 15 we bring it down here on the RHS 7y minus 7y is equal to 0 and we are left with plus 45 or simply 45 we can say next what do we do we subtract 15 from both sides why this way on the LHS only the variable is left hence we subtract 15 from both the side 3y is equal to 30 how do we get this if we subtract 15 on the LHS 15 and minus 15 cancel each other so we are left with 3y and on the RHS 45 minus 15 becomes 30 so the equation gets reduced to 3y equal to 30. Solving it further, now what can we do? As we wish to find the value of y, we can divide both sides by 3. This way we can get the value of y. So, 3y divided by 3 becomes y and 30 divided by 3 becomes 10. So here we get the solution y is equal to 10 and 
How do we check the solution is correct or not? Let us do that. For this, here we have the equation. Let's put the value of y which we obtain. That is y equal to 10 in the equation. So, instead of y, we write 10. So, 2 multiplied by 10. When it is 2y, it actually means it is 2 multiplied by y. So, 2 into 10 by 3 plus 1 is equal to on the RHS 7 multiplied by 10. Instead of y, we wrote 10 divided by 15 plus 3. So, what do we get? 2 multiplied by 10 is 20 by 3. We get here plus 1. And on the RHS, we have 7 multiplied by 10 divided by 15. So, denominator 15. We can reduce it. 5, 2 is 10, 5, 3 is 15. And just bring down plus 3. So, this is the result. 20 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 14 by 3 plus 3. Let's do the LCM. So, it will be 3 and here we'll get 3. So, 20 plus 3 as the numerator which is equal to 23 by 3. And on the RHS, again LCM is 3. So, we'll get 14 plus 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9. So, 14 plus 9 equal to 23 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. What do you see? 23 by 3 is equal to 23 by 3. LHS here is equal to RHS. Hence, we prove that the solution is right. So, now you know how to solve a linear equation when variable is present on both the sides. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.